Just because you're wearing jewelry and you look rich don't mean that you're rich in the ring. You know, it doesn't mean that you actually have that inside the ring. You know, there's a difference. You can look rich outside in, the, in this world and be fake with it. But when you're in that ring, ain't nobody gonna back you up. That, that hurt, <laughs> that did hurt. <laughs> I gotta say, um, so that video it was uh, me and Thor and the body shot, man. Uh, we, we actually exchanged uh, like five times each shot. So we started with 25% and then we, let, we went all the way to 100%. So that part is where he hits full throttle, like just everything. Um, I had to scream that one out. I had to scream that one out, but uh, it was, um, we just finished working out. We were doing a shoot for Rain, Rain Energy Drink, and for for everything that we were just doing. Um, it was just great, the atmosphere. And then afterwards, someone just implied, hey, since they know that Thor boxes and everything, they're like, hey, we sh you guys should try like some body shot training. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> and I thought it was just gonna be like a, a stunt, like just a little little fake one, but now nah, that ended up becoming a real thing. But uh, it was fun though, you know? It goes to show um, also in me that how strong I am. Uh-huh. I'm hitting the double M bag. I'm having fun with it here. You know, um, my younger self would have kicked my butt doing that right there. <laughs> um, but that's just me having fun, showing everybody that, like, yeah, you just gotta have fun doing what you're doing. You know? And then the speed bag. <laughs> speed bag, like, I like to be perfect, you know what I mean? But no one's perfect but God. So my thing is, like, um, I was trying over and over, like, trying to get it right. Uh, and I just couldn't, so I got a little frustrated. Just, um, just like, ah, come on, like. <laughs> but uh, it's just all about emotions like that. It just happens throughout the gym, throughout the time that you're training. Oh, and then the last one, just after everything, after the session is over with, and finally got the job done for today, you know, just dancing my way, you know, dancing my way out the gym, technically. You know, and just having a good time, keeping the same energy and keeping that uh, enlightenment, positivity, and good vibration. <laughs> uh, Sorry, Montana, man. Scarface. And this scene right here is him stating out, like, stating out to everybody, like, you can't have, um, you can't have no fear in what you do. If you say, if you're setting out to be something that you want to be, then go out there and do it. Don't hide. You know, don't try to fake it till you make it or anything to say, you know? And uh, the thing is like, it's uh, it's true, a bunch of excuse my language, but it's that, you know, um, especially in the work line that I'm in. You know, there's a lot of And because of what I'm trying to set out and do, you know, so the thing comes to that, you know? Um, you know, if they want to say I'm the bad guy, then I'm the bad guy. You know, but this bad guy is just trying to take care of the new generation in a, in a positive way, in a feedback. So, you know, um, and if I got to go out with a bang, I'll go out with a bang. In this moment, that, that picture right there, um, you know, just carrying um, my world, I would say. You know, it was very special. Very special. You know, my son is on the way, and, and that's something that I'm looking forward to. It gives me that thrive, that motivation. Not that I need already enough of it, but not that I already have enough of it, but that um, now it's just all about self-motivation and just trying to put a better input and a better example for my son. You know, something that I, I couldn't really have as much, you know, um, due to the, I wouldn't say circumstances, but the, you know, just things that have happened. And so that right there is just a moment of just like, you know, um, I'm doing it, you know, but it's a blessing from above. You know, I look at it like that, you know, that's, that's um, heaven sent. Uh, me and my father, it's, uh, it's important always because um, it's something that I cherish um, wholly to me because not a, lot of, not a lot of people in this world get that opportunity. You know, they don't have that, you know, that, that, that someone that's going to push them on their days that they're feeling low. You know, they look for it maybe through women and stuff like that, or but they don't have that father figure. I'm very blessed, you know, rich is just a state of mind. I've been rich my whole life. You know, I've been rich my whole life, and that's because of having my father. That was my first amateur fight, ever. First boxing amateur fight. And the first thing I did, I won it too. And the first thing I did, right when I won, I gave uh, that medal to my father. You know, just thanking him for all the hard work he has put in that 
from that point on, you know? And then um, after I won my first world title, same thing, I gave him that one. Uh, anything that was, it was just something honorable and something that I know that he's worked so hard for that I just let him know, like, I don't forget that. You know, like, it's not forgotten. So that right there, it's just, um, I, I don't even, to be honest at this point, it's like, I look at that kid, I'm like, wow, that was me. You know, it's, uh, it's, um, it's shocking. You know, as much as we shoot for a vision we all have, and I wanted to become undisputed world champion, I did that. And when you're so focused on tunnel vision that you're not really focused on the outside of everything, sometimes you could for, you could lose sight of the things that you have you have done throughout your life. You know, but that's me. I've always been someone that is just like zoned in, like in the zone. Right now we're on the zone, so it's like uh, those things right there is that just seeing that kind of makes me realize like, I've come far, but I'm not where I need to be yet. You know, and that's where I'm shooting for. Oh, yes. So, you gotta realize, I mean, I think, um, nah, I gotta have better moves in the, in the ring. That's, the, the, that's um, I got it all. I think I can dance, I think I can dance, I think I can dance. So you think you can dance, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just really that though, like just having fun and um, boxing's a dance. It's an art, you know, you gotta know how to dance. You know, if you look at all the greats, they all knew how to dance, you know, and they had to be light on their feet. So it kind of relates to all of that, you know, and then just having fun throughout the course of it. I won earned it in the ring against arguably the best pound for pound during the time, Vasily Lomachenko, which is true. Who did Haney beat for the belt? And how did he win it? Against who? Paper champ, along with his pillow hands. <laughs> Devin Haney, <laughs> out here. <laughs> um, it's just really what it is. Real recognizes real. I feel like everybody knows. The real ones are gonna realize what I did, it's never been done before. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did that at 23 years young. I mean, Vegas was against me. The odds were four to one. You know, I was the underdog. I was the guy that was supposed to not even have a chance at this. I was supposed to look like a, an amateur, you know? And I made the guy that was two-time Olympic gold medalist look like an amateur. I, you know, they talk about his shoulder and everything, but I fought him with a torn ligament on my right foot. I fought him with a tear on my wrist, you know? And I fought him with a messed up shoulder. But the thing is like, no excuses. That's what comes to, I'm injured and in, I'm getting, I'm hurt in this fight too against Cambosis, but you gotta fight through him because that's what makes a real champion, no excuses. I'm never gonna have an excuse on this. You know, but the thing is, I look at it like this. The best, he was the best pound for pound. Ahead of Canelo, ahead of Crawford, ahead of everybody. And then once I beat him, you know, they put me in top five. I said, okay, cool, I appreciate that. Now they got me next to Lomachenko in the top, in the top seven, eight. It's kind of interesting, you know what I'm saying? But it's okay, because that motivates me. And for Devin Haney, I don't understand. I don't understand the hype on this. Just because you're wearing jewelry and you look rich don't mean that you're rich in the ring. You know, it doesn't mean that you actually have that inside the ring. You know, there's a difference. You can look rich outside in, the, in this world and be fake with it. But when you're in that ring, ain't nobody gonna back you up. I mean, you almost got dropped against Jorge Leonardo's, you know, and you're trying to, trying to get clout over me. So it's like, um, I just call it what it is. If, if, I, if he earned it the way he did, then I'll say, okay, I gotta fight him for this belt. That's how I am. You know, and, but yeah, that's good. I'm glad that I said this, and I'm, I'm very, I'm very, uh, that's how I keep it. I keep it moving, and I just call it how it is. That's why they, with the Scarface post, they call me the bad guy. Yeah, I'm the bad guy, because I call it and I see it how it is.